Morning folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with the Pathfinder School and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take one tool and try to make another tool with that tool. And this is a German bull adze that I purchased. And you can see that it's basically got a hammer head here, a curved over portion that's flat and it's rounded here and it's only sharpened on the one side. The inside of the dish is sharpened down or beveled in and that gives you a sharp edge here for digging into making bowl work and things like that. I have a hammer head here that's basically a, a rock hammer that came from a junkyard and I'm going to burn the rest of the epoxy out of here, cut it off, upset it and pound it down a little bit to pack a hammer head on the back side and then I'm going to spread this out, bend it over and we're going to grind it very similar to this one so that we can make a smaller bowl as out of this to match this one. And you can see that the profiles are really not that much different to begin with. So we're just taking one tool and creating another tool with it. Okay, so you can see we've got that epoxy burned out of there now. Now we're going to heat the front end of this thing up a little bit to change the shape of the head on that hammer and get it more condensed. Now I'm going to leave the back end of that alone. It needs to be shaped up a little bit and trimmed. But I'm going to leave it alone for a few minutes to give myself something to hang on to while I'm forging the other end. Really all I'm doing here is thinning and widening at the same time. I'm looking at my bubbles to see where I'm at here. I got my high spot in the middle and that's what I want. I'll bevel this edge a little bit more right here. Looking at my blade thickness. This is a Vaughn head. I can see where it's burned in now. Vaughn made in the USA. It says right on it. So it should be a decent head when we're done. Now let's work on this other side again real quick. Alright. We're looking pretty straight here. Just give it a little bit of a tap going this way. Pretty good right there.
piece that we're copying has a slight bend in it. On the blade. We're going to try to repeat that as well. Bend it down just a shade like that. Give it a little bit of a downward stroke when you've got a handle in it. They're coming down. That's probably not too ugly right there. Now we need to do some initial file work and stuff to it. For that, we're going to have to let it cool down some for sure. looking to make sure that my profile is exactly what I want before I finish up the hammer end and before I heat treat it. Once I heat treat it, it's going to be hard again. And the draw file and stuff ain't going to happen. And now all of our sharpening is going to come in here with a stone on this side because our bevel is already set on this side. That's what we're filing in now before we heat treat it to make sure we've got that bevel just exactly the way we want it. All right, so we're happy with everything we've got now. And again, I'm looking at a couple things here. There's two bevels right there. One here, one here. They're good. I got a high hump in the middle to give me strength. The, dra the blade is drawn out nice and even here. I got a good symmetrical arc on it. I got a little bit of a bend here and a little bit of a bend here. They look like they're pretty equal when I set it on the table flat. I think overall it's a pretty good tool. I just dressed that hammer and edge up a little bit. I'm not going to use it for anything anyway. It's just for weight forward pretty much on the hammer. Didn't mess with the shoulders at all. That'll work for another hammer handle. Just like it did when it was a rock hammer. I think we're ready for heat treat at this point and then final sharpening and put a handle on this bad boy and see how she cuts wood. I'll tell you what, when it comes to heat treating something, there ain't nothing like a gas cooler. this to kind of be a little softer. I'm not going to even put it all the way in. I'm going to keep it toward the front here with that hammer end and that pole. That handle goes in. That eye and the hammer pole I'm going to keep full. Put the blade to the back. I'm going to actually flip that like this. So I can watch it.
I'm going to leave them in there for two minutes in this oil. And I just use motor oil for my quenching oil. A lot of people use different stuff. I just use motor oil right out of my Jeep. All right, so we took our ads head that we created from our hammer, from our Vaughn rock hammer, and we heat treated it first. We showed that on video, and then we took it inside and we put it in an oven for two hours at 400 degrees to temper the blade. Then I came out here and just sharpened this back side of the bevel with a puck. And that's the only place you're going to have to sharpen this is on this outside edge. You've got a curved edge with an angle, a single bevel on the inside, and then this edge gets sharpened with like a puck device, just like you would your axe. I just stuck a temporary handle in it real fast. I haven't even put a wedge in it yet, just to see if I've got the angle right, if I've got the sharpness good, and if everything's going to work. We'll just take this piece of poplar right here, and we'll kind of chew into it a little bit. Oh yeah. All right guys, well, I'm Dave Canterbury with the Pathfinder School, and I appreciate you joining me here today for just a quick video on turning one tool into another tool. We took a $1 rock hammer head made by Vaughn in the U.S. that we found at a scrapyard for a dollar and we turned it into a valuable bowl making tool that we can put in our bushcraft kit. I appreciate your views, I appreciate your support, and I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks guys.